Don't come for me in the comment section about what we eat. Don't come at me, because I don't care. It's not your money I'm spending, okay? Okay, let's go. I'm puffy faced it's because I've only been up for an hour so I still am looking pretty puffy but I just checked in waiting to pick up my groceries I have a very busy today wait very busy day today but I'm gonna chow down on this because it always takes them a few minutes to bring my groceries out and I have a huge grocery order and then right after this one we'll go over to Sam's and buy some bulk groceries there. And then we will go home. Tonight I have to plan for a special, um, a special family dinner. And we're celebrating something kind of big for one of our kids. And so I'm gonna share that with you in just a little while. But look, I'm not going to sit here and chomp down on my food in front of y'all on camera because um, nobody wants to hear or see all of that, okay? So, I'm going to eat real quick. I'm going to get our groceries, and then we're going to go into Walmart, pick up a few more groceries. And then I'm going to take you to Sam's, and then I'm going to take you back home, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. <laughs> It is almost 12 o'clock and I just made it home and I've got groceries everywhere. My kitchen's not huge, but um, it is packed. I'm going to prop you up here on some breakfast foods. Um, I love to watch grocery hauls. I love to see what other people are doing, but I don't do these very often. But the very first one I ever did, I had several people comment that, shame on me, I can't believe that we would go and bring home our girls from China and the Philippines that we would bring them home and then we would feed them such junk and that we did not deserve to adopt them. I've said that on every single grocery haul just to say, hey, people are stupid out there. Like what an idiotic thing to say. Yeah, okay, let's leave these children in an orphanage, fatherless without a family, Isabel left to die because that's much better than them coming home and eating some ding-dongs and Twinkies. So, I will probably always preface every grocery haul that I do with this. 
You do not have to judge how we eat. We do eat junk food. We do eat processed foods, but we also do eat and strive to eat protein and fruits and vegetables, okay? That's just how we do things. I go shopping every two weeks when my husband gets paid. Um, I typically buy everything that you would possibly need inside of a super Walmart. So that goes from socks to underwear, diapers, makeup, whatever I need, whatever I foresee that I'm going to need over the next two weeks, That's this is when I buy it. So I try not to go back to the grocery store too much over the next two-week period. I might need to stop in, and I probably will need to stop in and pick up a few things, but this is typically it. Everyone's on their own for breakfast and lunch. We've got some that work outside of the house. We've got teenagers in the house who know how to cook what they want, so I don't really prepare breakfast and lunches. They can do that if they want. And then over the next two weeks, I plan out and prepare and buy for normally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe 10-ish dinner meals that I can put in the crock pot at night or I can easily throw in the oven. Um, and then there's a few nights in there where people just fend for themselves. You can eat leftovers. You can go out to eat, whatever. So that's kind of how I do it. So I literally have this written down. And I'm going to tell you what all I'm cooking over the next two weeks. At least that's my plan. And then I just put this up here on my calendar, on my refrigerator. So every day I can look at it and I can just say, oh, we're going to eat that tonight and put it in the fridge. Okay, so let's go show you what I got. Okay, let's see if I can do this without completely sounding like I'm out of breath and talking too long. This big old package of beef stew meat. We use this for, um, I'm going to make, what is it? A beef vegetable soup. Um, my older kids also love to take this and make steak bites out of it. So like I'm gonna divide this up into smaller groupings and freeze it that way. Um, so that's what that's going to be for. And I've got like mixed ve vegetables to put in with that um, beef stew. So that's going to be really good. Um, I have got to beef up my protein because I have been so lazy the past two and three months. So I got these to try. They look pretty good. My Jackson, he loves these boneless chicken bites. Stan likes these burritos. He has liked these for as long as I can remember. So every once in a while, I will buy those. And they're quick for him. Um, let's see here. I've got a roast. So I'm going to make a roast with carrots and potatoes. Potatoes I already have. And everyone loves that. So I've gotten where I do that every two weeks. All of my kids love cinnamon rolls. And y'all, these Cinnabon rolls right here, you get them at Sam's. They're amazing amazing and so we have that for breakfast some morning for the kids we go through a lot of eggs okay we've got lunch meat y'all this is two pounds eighteen dollars worth of ham i mean what the heck but it gets eaten so it's not wasted but yeah um grayson when he comes home for lunch he likes to eat ham sandwiches and i got me some turkey breast just for myself another meal that we're gonna have is cheesy tortellini soup and it's so good i put italian sausage in it this frozen cheese tortellini you put some spinach in there with some rotel it's amazing so that's going to be one meal this i always make red beans and rice i um put dry kidney beans and then i'll do a couple cans of uh, canned kidney beans and then i also put the beef smoked sausage in that as well. So that's always a staple meal. Pepperonis. Jackson and Grayson love to make grilled cheese with pepper jack cheese and pepperonis. And they love it. So I bought a bunch of those. Um, I bought a bunch of onions. Okay, let me tell you why I have this many onions. Hold on. So I typically don't buy six or seven big onions at a time. But, um, so we started visiting a new church and we really like it so far. And they have a great organization that's fixing to open up next week. Um, and it's a huge support community for foster families. Um, I can't get into all of it right now, but I'm just it's it's so encouraging to see churches making um making that a priority um and so um the lady wendy who is kind of the head honcho of it she had mentioned that she would love a lot of frozen meals in their deep freeze 
so that when foster families get a really last minute placement that maybe they weren't prepared for or didn't know. Um, she wanted to be able to provide them with a home cooked meal that they can just take home, throw in the oven, and it's one thing that they don't have to think about as they're bringing a new child into their home, which can be very um, chaotic and stressful. So my friend and I decided that we would have a cooking day. So we're gonna have a cooking day on Monday and we are each preparing like six meals six freezable meals that we can go put in the deep freeze at this um, organization's building. And um, so I am going to make um, homemade spaghetti with corn and garlic bread. And then I'm going to do cheesy chicken spaghetti with green beans and garlic bread. And so those are all things that will freeze really nicely. And so you'll see a lot of things I kind of bought a lot of. And that's because I'm making, what is that? six extra full meals that are not for my family. So that also increased the grocery bill today. But you know, this is, this is, these are things that you can do to help support foster families and adoptive families. Um, if you are not in a position to actually foster or adopt, there are ways that you can help out. And so my friend Ginger and I thought this would be a great um, act of service that we can do to pitch in and help. So that's that's what all of those onions are for. Okay, let's get back to it. Jackson loves these Kodiak muffins for a snack. I've got cottage cheese, half and half. I think this is for my spinach soup. Um, and then I had one of the CNAs at the nursing home that I go to every night to spend time with my mother-in-law. I made a pineapple upside down cake for a little birthday party last week. And one of the CNAs asked me, she was like, um, can, can I pay you to make me another cake? I was like, yes and no. Yes, I will make you a cake, but no, you will not pay me. So I'm going to make a cake for her. And then I got a second um, box so that I can make one for the staff. So that's what we're doing there. Um, extra virgin olive oil. That is for Isabel's Nimchik protocol, but also we cook with it. We got biscuits and sausage for, um, breakfast and then look over here we've got all of Isabel's stuff we've got um, baby formula I have transitioned her from soy formula to just a regular milk base and she's done really well with it um, I try to put a jar of baby food in all of her bottles or applesauce just to give her a little extra calories and nourishment I have a lot more baby food down below but that's what I bought today and I thought I put diapers and baby wipes in the shopping cart, but I didn't. So I got to go back and get that, which is really annoying. Um, Stan. Stan loves these tuna packets. He has recently lost like almost 30 pounds, I think. Um, and he's done that by just eating a lot of protein and cutting out a lot of processed food. So I buy a bunch of those every two weeks. I got this for myself to try a new recipe just for myself. Stan loves to make peanut butter and honey sandwiches. So I got a lot of that because we go through a lot of peanut butter. Our little Stella, she needed some more dog food. Emerson requested this for her coffee that she'll fix every, um, she doesn't fix it every day, but I bought that for her. Let's back up. These two good yogurts, y'all. These are so good. I got vanilla and strawberry. And a lot of us in the house love this because we sweeten it with a little bit of honey if you want a little sweeter taste in there. And then I put granola on top with some fruit. And it's just a great protein. It's a great snack. So I got a lot of those because we were out and we've all been going through them crazy. I didn't need many toiletries. Normally I have to buy a bunch of razors, but we already have a stash in there. I bought Mika some more toothpaste. Sadly, Stan and I take sleep aid every night. We needed some more toothpaste. Tablecloths for tonight. Isabel takes melatonin every night, as well as a couple of the older kids. So those are just a few odd and end things. We didn't need a lot of toiletries. We kind of already had a good stash of stuff. Jackson needed some socks, so I got him some socks. Um, speaking of Jackson, he has gotten into furniture flipping, and I'm going to need to put a picture right here of a couple pieces of furniture that he has flipped. 
They are absolutely gorgeous, and I actually have been doing some as well. Um, we just find inexpensive old pieces of furniture, and then we flip them. We turn them into something beautiful and then sell them on Marketplace, and it's actually really fun. So I just picked up some sanding blocks. I needed that. We needed a polyurethane, and then Grayson needed this for his boots. They need a little TLC, so he asked me to get that. Um, I have seen where this helps tremendously with sunspots and dark spots, and I have them on my face, so I thought I would try this out. And then look, let's just, I mean, I'm getting to where I need to color my hair more often than I used to. Um, used to, I could throw a box dye on my hair. My hair's naturally black, but of course the grays are coming through much faster now. So I'm like having to do this every six weeks now, which is a pain in the butt. But it is what it is, because I like my black hair and know I'm not ready to go gray, okay? Toaster strudels, again, for breakfast. Pork and beans. Um, so tonight for our family gathering, I am going to be making some uh, baked beans. So I've got that. And the kids love this queso. We needed some more ranch. We needed some more syrup. And I've got a couple in the house that love these caramel rice cakes and they put peanut butter on them. And then I also have some domesticated teenagers in the house that are loving to cook right now. So I kind of needed to stock up a little bit more on these basics. Um, so that's what that's for. Got some bananas, some paper plates, turkey bacon. We eat this for breakfast, cookies, because we just keep these on hand. And sometimes when the grandkids come over, we'll make some cookies. Or if we just get a little snacky, we just want some cookies. So that's what we did. Um, Stan loves these peanut butter crackers. Jackson loves these Rice Krispie treats, and y'all, the homestyle ones are so good. Oh my goodness, so good. Um, I got, I should have another package of beef smoked sausage, because like I told y'all, I put that in red beans and rice, and then another staple meal that we make every two weeks is gumbo. We're from Louisiana, so we love all of the um, Creole type Let's see here. All these rice cups, those are for my kids. They like to meal prep and take them to work. So we go through those a good bit. Like I said, I got green beans to cook for those frozen meals I was telling you about. And all of these canned goods, it's nothing exciting. It's literally for all of that extra food that I just told y'all I'm going to be making for the next, um, for the foster family. So that's really what that is. And then I had to buy extra cheese for those meals as well. Okay, we're going to try to speed this up. Laundry detergent, we go through a lot of it. <laughs> scope. I got a resident at the nursing home that wanted some scope, so we got him some scope. Uh, styrofoam cups for the party tonight. These sweet potato fries are amazing. These chicken bites are amazing. You get these at Sam's, and they really taste a lot like Chick-fil-A chicken. So those are very good. I, I don't know what, I mean, I did order this, but I thought this was a big old container of it, but it's not. So, that won't last as long, but that's okay. Um, cream cheese for a couple of the recipes that I have. Lettuce, french fries, Jackson loves these with his lunches. And here, y'all, processed food, okay? Again, we're home all day. We homeschool, we are at home all day. For that reason, we have to have a lot of snacks. And yes, these are all processed, and I'm okay with it, y'all. But we've just got little fudge stripe cookies. We got these peanut butter chocolate chip bars. These pretzels are so yummy. Jackson loves those. Chocolate chip waffles for breakfast. We got hamburger buns because we're going to do burgers one night for supper. Grayson will grill them for us. And then tonight at the family gathering, we're also going to be doing some burgers. I bought some more of this because the kids like to fix this and meal prep it with and throw it in their rice, on corn tortillas, just whatever. So, they love that. Um, caramel dip with some apples, y'all. Uh, it's just it's just so good. It's just so good. Um, honey buns. 
We just needed some salt. We needed a little bit of oil. We needed some pickle relish. Um, oatmeal cream pies. We got blueberries and strawberries. Cilantro. So at Walmart, one can is like $5.50, I think. So I go to Sam's and I get four of them for $15. I mean, that's just such a good deal. So, I won't have to buy these for another month, but I love these. Pancakes and sausage on a stick. The boys love those. Um, we are grilling wings tonight, which is what you see right here that I got at Sam's. I'm trying to get them to thaw in some warm water. But we are going to do garlic parmesan wings, and we are going to do barbecue wings, and then we are going to do a dry rub wing. And then over here, y'all, this is all the garlic bread. One box is just for us for the next two weeks. Um, the other two boxes are for the extra cooking that I'm doing for the foster families. Same thing with hamburger meat. Some of it's for us. Some of it's for the extra cooking. Did I already tell you another meal that we're doing is pan chicken fajitas. And so I just take these chicken breast tenderloins, throw them on a huge pan with fajita seasoning, and a bunch of bell pepper and onion and cook it and it's amazing now i did tell y'all that we don't keep juices at the house and we don't but this is for tonight at the family cookout so i thought the grandkids and all the little ones would love that and then just some prune juice to help as well okay <laughs> um what we got over here all right i still had toilet paper left over so we got toilet paper paper towels Paper plates for tonight. I got a bunch of these for the extra cooking that I've got to do. Just not fun stuff. Chicken broth, beef broth. I had to buy a lot of foil. Parchment paper for baking. Um, tonight, I'm going to make homemade mac and cheese for our family dinner. And it is completely processed food. You just do elbow noodles. And then you melt just like um, this Velveeta this is one of the little ones. Cheese block, and you mix it with one of these, and an evaporated milk, and then you just, once it's all cooked down, you pour it over your noodles and pop it in the oven for 30 minutes, and it's so good. This rice, like I said, we use that for red beans and rice. We use it for gumbo. We make crawfish etouffee. We use that all the time. The spaghetti noodles are for all that extra cooking, so yeah. Okay, sourdough bread. This is for the a little guacamole with the fried egg on top. And you put everything but the bagel seasoning on top. It's so good. This is the bread that the boys like to use for their pepperoni, pepper jack cheese, grilled cheese. Stan likes just the basic white bread. And then we have some that like the honey wheat bread. And this will all be gone, y'all. This will all be gone. Um, and then a bunch of chips. Let me get the chips. Chips. I really didn't buy that many chips this time. But Stan loves chips. Um, so we buy chips because he loves chips. And then, oh, let me show you the cutest rug I did buy. Hold on. Let me get it. Look at this adorable rug. It's huge, y'all. So I got this for my front door. I'll go show it to you when I set it up out there. The colors matched my wreath and it was only $9.98 and it's one of the ginormous rugs. So I got that for the fall because our front door looks absolutely pitiful right now. And then I got a bunch of waters and got some energy drinks because we do drink energy drinks. So I'm gonna be very real on here. We drink energy drinks. We do eat some processed foods, uh, but we do eat some healthy foods, and we are mindful of what we're eating, um, and we just really are just doing our best to live life. It's a lot of groceries, y'all. Y'all know what time it is? It is, uh, okay, so it's almost 1230. So now, I got to put all this up. Girl, quit looking at my messages. That's not your phone. I caught Mika looking at my text messages and she goes. <laughs> um, 
So Mika is going to help me put this away, and then I'm going to start cooking. But I'm going to come back and tell y'all, like on the next clip, I'm thinking I will tell y'all what we're celebrating tonight and why it's so special. And I feel very emotional today. See, just saying that, I feel very emotional today. Um, so I don't really know why, but that's okay. So, oh, well, I did take a testosterone shot last night, so maybe I'm just a little out of whack and it's probably just getting on that time of the month too. But, um, okay, so I'm going to put all this up and we'll be back and then I'll tell you the fun stuff, okay?